بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم ولا عليه وصحبه ونستنى بسنته إلى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brothers today we are supposed to take a quiz but you know some brothers says the study material was given bit late so we have rescheduled to next week إن شاء الله تعالى so next Saturday after Fajr إن شاء الله تعالى we'll have a quick test uh, but this won't be included in that test, obviously, so it will be week 24, 26, uh, 24, 25, 26, 27, so four weeks before this week. So today we'll go through this IS, but you can see there's a lot of IS today, <coughs> but because I gathered them together because there's the stories of the past, so instead of going like we use, you know, usually do, like, you know, picking an ayah and going through each ayah, uh, like any words, anything, we're going to quickly go through this story because these stories are all uh, obviously known to us, but we just want to see how Allah placed them in the Quran and is there any other uh, wisdom behind this. So we'll quickly go through this once. So this chunk of, as we mentioned, you know, last week in the Sira class actually, this chunk of the, the Surah Al-Ali Imran was revealed because of the delegation that came from Najran, a Christian team, or a team of Christian people, they came to the Masjid of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they stayed there for three or four days and they have a dialogue with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and because of that uh, dialogue and conversation or debate, whatever you can call that, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala revealed these ayahs about uh, about the the prophets of uh, the past, like especially Zakaria, Maryam, Isa, and Yahya. So we'll go through them quickly, inshallah ta'ala. So first, uh, these are the sections that we're going to discuss today. First, the, you know, the, the chosen prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then the birth of the Maryam, the birth of uh, Yahya, the birth of and the, the, the status of Maryam salam in the Quran that Allah mentioned her, and also the story of Isa salam obviously, and, and the miracles that Allah mentioned in this, in this surah. There are other surah that also mention there's the Surah Ma'idah, Surah Maryam, all the surah and some other surahs also that mention the miracles of Isa alayhi salam, but there are some miracles mentioned here. And then this, a quick summary that Allah give, only few ayah and three, four ayah, Allah give the summary of the mission of the Da'a of Isa alayhi salam in this surah, and also the concluding comment for Rasulullah sallam, how to finish the, the debate basically, how to finish the dialogue with the Christian people, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveal some ayah regarding that too. So the first two ayah, Starting from 33, Allah saying that you know, Allah has indeed choose the Adam, Nuh, and the family of Ibrahim, and the family of Imran over the world. So, Allah you know, And then Allah says, Zudiyatihu Mimbadi, or Mimbadi, meaning they are one from another. Basically, they are some from the others. Why Allah mentioned this at the beginning? So, imagine this is the talk from Allah through Rasulullah for those Christian people. So, this is the way Allah started the talking. Allah is saying that Allah chose Adam, Nuh, the, the, the family of Ibrahim. Obviously, you know, the family of Ibrahim has two sons, Ismail and Ishaq, and then also the family of Al Imran. And some of the narrations say that Imran was the name of the father of Musa also. So we'll talk about that a bit later. But why Allah says one from another? Because the, Allah states it says, from Adam, there are sons of Adam, and then from there come Nuh. From the people of the Nuh, there are some people that comes, you know, the Ibrahim, and from Ibrahim he has his son. So Allah, they are son of each other, basically. So this is the normal continuation. And by mentioning that, Allah tried to say that you know, Isa is not from something divine. He is also from them. He is also from the same same group of people. It is the continuity of this thoughts. He is not God. He is not son of God. So Allah is saying that they are one from each other. So and this Allah says that these are the prophets that I have chosen. And their family, I have chosen their family over other families of the world. So that's why they, these are the people have miracles from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are prophets and rasul of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why Allah tried to mention them. And they are normal people, normal human being. The one comes from the other. So that's why Allah mentioned these two things here at the beginning of it. The next section, as we say, the birth of Maryam alayhi salam. As, as you know that, you know, uh, the, the wife of Ibra, uh, Imran. And some scholars say, you know, Imran to Imran mean doesn't mean always wife of Imran. Imran to Imran also can mean a lady from the Imran family group. That all some of the scholars say, the tafsir, they know, it doesn't have to be the, the, the wife of Imran, meaning the, because Imran, Imran to means like wife, but it could be, you know, so some lady from that family. You know, like in our tradition, in our country, we say like, uh, he is from that family. So we name the family name. So that's from one of the guys, like he's from the Chaudhary family, something like this. So it could be like that too. 
Anyway, so she was pregnant, and when she was pregnant, and she made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that, you know, Allah, whoever he has in my tummy, I would like to dedicate my child to you, to, you know, serve you, you know, in your masjid, or in your, in, in your deen, or uh, something like that. So he, he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, <coughs> and also, he said at the end, you know, but when she delivered, when she has delivered, she said, Ya Allah, I delivered a female child. And then Allah was not knowing of what she delivered. So Allah knows most, Allah knows what she delivered, but she's still telling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of, you know, uh, surprise or something, you know, oh Allah, look, I delivered a female child, you know, something like that. And then he said, and the male is not like the female. Now, this one, the and the male is not like the female, in their opinions of the scholar, it could be the word of the lady, the mother of Maryam, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So basically, she's saying to Allah, if, if it is from her, she's saying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, oh Allah, I deliver a child. And it is a female. Allah says, I know better what you delivered. And then she's saying, the female is not like the male. So because she, she made a dua before and she made a promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that she will gonna dedicate. So she's probably saying this way, that you know, the way I was thinking that my son will serve you, your masjid, it's not gonna be the same. Or it could be from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying that, you know, female's child obviously not like that, male child. And then say, I named her Mary, uh, the, uh, Maryam. So Allah, it could be Allah or it could be the, you know, the name of the, the, the mother of the Maryam. And she's saying that I have named her Maryam. Then he says, I seek refuge in you. So uh, he's, that this is definitely the, the mother of the Maryam. She's saying that you know, I have asked from you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to keep them away from the, the shaitan. And keep my daughter away from the shaitan and her family. And there is a hadith in Sahih Muslim, Rasulullah said about this ayah, every child when they are born, shaitan pick the baby. Every child that comes out of the mother, every child is picked by the shaitan and that's why he cries. Except for Maryam and Isa alayhi because of this dua of, his, of her mother. Because of the Allah say, I will be shaitan al Rajim. This is the, 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 the Allah, he, she, she's seeking refuge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from shaitan. So when Maryam was born and when Isa was born, there was no crying because shaitan didn't touch them. And because after Isa, there's no family from Maryam. That is the end, right? And end means like you know, Isa will come back, but for the time being, from Maryam, Isa. That's the Zuriyati, he means that that is the finish. Because her family is only one generation, she and her son Isa. Alayhi so, you know, this is the hadith in, in, you can find in the Sahih Muslim that the Rasulullah mentioned this ayah that, you know, because of this dua, he will do it. And then Allah is saying that, you know, so her Lord accepted her, meaning accepted Maria and Islam with good acceptance and, you know, grow in a good manner. And also she says, Zakaria was the one she was given in charge of looking after, after Maria and Islam in that case. And it is from, and then Zakaria is saying that, you know, the miracle of Maria and Islam is already mentioned here. That you know, when she was sitting in the in the masjid, Zakaria used to come to her and see that there are lots of fruits around her, the unseasoned fruits. Like there, these are the fruits not supposed to be there. And uh, Zakaria used to ask Madam, how did you get all these fruits? Because she she's a small child at that time, maybe eight or nine years old or something like that. And uh, uh, Madam said that this is from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. This came from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and Allah can give whoever He wish. And the last sentence was say, Allah whom Allah provides whom He wills without you know be ghairi hisab. So Allah can give whoever He wills. And as soon as she say this thing, there's something triggered in the mind of Zakaria Rasulam. Zakaria Rasulam is also a prophet, and he teaches people the, the, the speech of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. He give the dawa and everything. But now he is learning something from Maria Rasulam. What is he learning? He is learning that you know Allah can give whoever Allah wish whatever Allah wants. And right then and then. The next things that he say at the same, you know, Hunalika. He says, Hunalika means in Arabic, right away, then and then, you know. And then and then, Zakaria Rasulam start making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a child for himself. Because he was old at that time and he didn't have any child at that time. And his wife also was not, you know, fertile uh, till that time. That, you know, she couldn't give any, any, any birth or anything. So she's asking, he's asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a dua. A prophet is asking a dua. Look at the two incidents. Very similar. The, Maryam, the mother of Maryam, salam, the wife of Imran, she's also asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dua. And also so the, the dua of the parents, the sincere dua of the parents is so powerful, Allah answered both of them so quickly. And then Allah is saying here, the angels came to him right away. So he was, when he was making dua, angels came to him and then they said, my Lord, uh, <clears throat> how will I have a boy? Uh, 
when I have reached all and my wife is barren, the angel said, Kun fayakun. Such is Allah. Allah, whenever Allah wish, Allah can do. Now, there's two things here. One thing see here, in the, if you look at the Arabic, you know, Kala Rabbi yakunuli gulam. So, Allah said gulam. Gulam means in Arabic, a boy, like a boy. Because Allah said before that, you know, He will give him Yahya. Yahya means who will live. So, who will live? So, Definitely he will leave the childhood and grow older. So he used the word gulam. Allah was the gulam. The gulam means like, you know, is, is a boy. He'll be a grown up boy. And we will see how Maryam Allah Sallam say the same thing in the next few ayah. That he, she uses a different one. And also it says here, you know, uh, In the ayah number 40, if you look at yaf'alu mayyasha. Yaf'al means Whatever Allah wish. Allah wish, Allah does whatever Allah wish. Yaf'al means doing something. Fail means in Arabic doing something. So Allah does whatever Allah wish. Just remember that word yaf'al. Allah said Allah does whatever Allah wish. And then Allah said, he says, Allah give me some sign. So, you know, Allah tell him that your sign that you're not going to talk to the people for three days. And, you know, you make gesture to them to make tasbih of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this was the sign. And this is the story of the birth of Yahya alayhi salam. And as you know, Yahya alayhi salam, as in relation, she, he was the cousin of yeah, Isa alayhi salam. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about quickly the, about the status of uh, you know uh, Maryam alayhi salam. And here Allah is saying that you know, as mentioned, angels says to Maryam alayhi salam, "O Mary, indeed Allah has chosen you and purified you, and the chosen above the omen of the world." And regarding this, you know, all the hadith that Rasulullah said, Rasulullah said the four omens has perfected their iman. And first of them is Maryam alayhi salam, second is Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh, the third is Khadija radiallahu anha, and the fourth is Fatima bint Muhammad, the daughter of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam. And there's another hadith where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi said, you know, uh, Fatima will be the, the leader of the Jannah for the omen. Fatima will be the leader of the Jannah of the omen except for Maryam. Except for Maryam. So Fatima is the leader of the omen of the Jannah, but Maryam's status is more than that. So, you know, there's a hadith in, 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 in Bukhari by, uh, from Sayyid al-Qudri. He said, you know, uh, Fatima will be the leader, but Maryam is still above, above her. So, she, she won't be the leader of Maryam. So, because that's also proof that, you know, Maryam alayhi salam, because he, she has been chosen among all the women of the world. Allah clearly says, among all the women of the world. So, she is the, the best woman as Allah has chosen. And then say, and Allah is commanding Maryam alayhi salam. This is probably her, uh, when she was become like, you know, nine or ten years old. Allah is saying, oh, oh Mary, be devoted, obedient to your Lord. And post to make sujood and meet ruku with the people of the prayer. So, you know, Allah tells them, you know, just pray and make sujood to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then in the 44 hour, Allah is saying, in between this dialogue, Allah is saying, this incident is not supposed to be known by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In Arab land, in Makkah, in Medina, there's no library at that time that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam go and read. And obviously our, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he couldn't read and write. So Allah is saying, these are the information from the Al-Ghaib. You are not supposed to know them. How do you know that, you know, when they are trying to find out who's going to be in charge of Maryam and they are casting God. That is the secret even happened in the masjid uh, of the Jerusalem at that time, you know, who's going to look after Maryam. They cast Lot and everything. So these are the in intricate details of the past and, the, and there's no way to know from Rasulullah Sallallahu except from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So Allah is also reminding that and telling them, those Christian people, look, how, if he's not the true prophet, how he knowing all this fact? How he can know all these facts from the past. Now, this, these are the, the famous ayah of the born of Isa alayhi salam. The, you know, the, the angels came to the Maryam and they, they, they give a glad tidings of, uh, of Isa alayhi salam that you know, there will be, Allah has given you a boy and he will be jihan fi dunya wal akhirata. Wa jihan means, jihan the word comes from washya, meaning the face. And because you know, if a baby is born, and as you all know the story, if a baby is born without a dad, without a father, obviously he is humiliated in the society and everything. But Allah is saying here from the beginning, when Allah gives the good news, no, he will be honored in this world and after, 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 in here after also, and he will speak to the people from the cradle and in maturity. Now look at those things, like to be born without a father, obviously a miracle, right? Also, Allah is saying that he will be honored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before he was born. That is also a miracle. It's a good news from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah has already declared that he will be honored in this world and in the akhirah. And then Allah says he will be in muqarrabun. He will be very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And literally he is close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah has raised him. So that is also a miracle. Then Allah says he will talk from the cradle. From the cradle means, you know, the, the lap of mother you can say. 
the, like, you know, when the, 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 the mother holds the child like this, that is also a miracle. Then Allah said, he'll talk in maturity. But talking in maturity and kahal, you know, uh, kahal means, in Arabic, kahal means a man of 33 years old or 32 years old or 34 years old. Now, talking when you are 33 years old, is it a miracle? It's not a miracle. You know, like, you know, if I'm 33, 34 years old or 35 years old, whatever, and if I talk to you guys, that is not a miracle. Why Allah mentioning this with all the miracles? Allah doesn't need to mention it. It's not a normal thing for people to talk at that time. But for Isa alayhi salam, it is a miracle because he will come back. That is a sign. You know, the, the, there's, there's the pages of you know, tafsir written about this ayah, with how Allah gives the sign here. Because for him, he's coming in this world back thousands of years later when he will be 33 years old and he will be talking to the people. He will be talking to the people at that time, the, the people who will be followed by Imam Mahdi, you know, and those people trying, will choose him as a leader, and you know, and he will fight with the Dajjal and kill the Dajjal. So for him, this is a miracle that a, a prophet, a, you know, a, a Rasul of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, coming back as Salihin, not as a prophet, coming back as Salihin, and he will be talking at that age after so many years later, after thousands of years later, we don't know when he's coming back. It could be another thousand years that he's coming back. So that's why Allah mentioned it here as a part of that miracle of uh, Isa alayhi salam. And then she said, uh, Maryam alayhi salam said, how can I have a baby? You know, and he, now he, he, she didn't say Golam, she says Walad. Because she doesn't know that if she can even give a birth without, 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 the, without the touching of a man. So that's why she said the word Walad. And then Allah said, you know, here, Allah said here, Allah will create whatever he wish. Over there, Allah said, Allah does whatever he wish. But here, Allah said, Allah creates. Why create? Because in Bible, if you read, you know, Astaghfirullah, the way they presented this story, it is very famous story in Bible too, right? The story that, you know, uh, as if that, you know, Allah did something and Isa alayhi salam come from Maryam alayhi salam. So Astaghfirullah, that's why Allah put, specially put the way, Allah creates here. It's not that Allah does something. If you say, I did something, I did can refer to anything. It is, you don't know what I did. It could be I eat something, I drink something, I drove a car. Does, fail means anything I do. But when Allah says, Yukhluk, Allah mentioned the action. I have created him, Kun Fayakun. Whatever I wish, I just say the word. He is the word from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I created him. Now here Allah is saying that, you know, and then this is the blessings of, you know, Isa alayhi salam, how Isa, Allah, Allah taught Isa alayhi salam, the, the Torah and Injil, I mentioned it before, that, you know, a lot of scholars said, Isa alayhi salam, not like our Prophet Muhammad alayhi salam, because Prophet Muhammad salam became a prophet when he was 40 years old, and then he learned Quran uh, day by day in 23 years, uh, Jibril came and, and taught him the Quran, he memorized the Quran through Jibril. But for Isa alayhi salam, when he was born, he was given the knowledge of Torah and Injil both. And you know, some Muslims say, Allah said, you know, uh, the Kitab and the Hikmah. The Kitab is the book of the Torah and Hikmah is the Injil. The, the, his Sunnah was the Injil. And he's saying here, you know, a make a messenger of children of Israel. Meaning he is a messenger not for the whole world. It is for only for Bani Israel. And indeed I have come to you with a sign from your Lord. In that I design you from the place. So they, another miracle was mentioned here. That he used to make a bird. And he used to blow the, in the bird with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the bird got life and go away. Now this miracle, if you look for the, the Bibles that we have in the market, you know, the Christian people, there are four major Bibles, if you know, there's four major Bibles. There's the Bible of Mark, Luke, Matthew and, and John. So there's a four, four, four Bibles. And four of the Bibles have a lot of miracles of Isa alayhi salam, but they don't have this miracle, the making the bird and blowing. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this one twice in the Quran. In this surah once and there's another surah. No less than twice. Maybe it's three, but I'm pretty sure twice. But it could be three times, I'm not sure. But minimum twice Allah mentioned this miracle. And recently, only a few hundred years ago, the Christian people, some, you know, some what do you call that, you know, archaeologists or something, they found something in Egypt, an old temple, like a chart. And they dig through the metal and they found a book from there, a manuscript that, as they say that, and their name is Gospel of Thomas. So Gospel of Mark, look, this is the fifth gospel, the Gospel of Thomas. And you can even buy it in Amazon. If you Google in Amazon Gospel of Thomas, you can buy it. It's, it's, it's printed and everything now. And that Bible has this miracle. Imagine, thousands, and it happened only 100 years ago. It's probably 18 something, I'm not sure, 1890 or something. So, so for so long, when Muslims used to go to the people and say, recite the Quran to the, the, uh, the 
with the, with the Christian people, and here when this I R revealed, the Christian was sitting there. They don't know about this ayah. They don't know about this. They don't know what miracle Quran is talking about. There's nothing happened like this. Also, he is talking from the cradle. That is also mentioned. That is not also mentioned in the Bible. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this. And now they remember from the, when they found the manuscript, the Gospel of Thomas. It is mentioned of the Gospel of Thomas. And now this is part of their Bible. The fifth Bible. Some of the groups, they don't accept it. Some of them accept it. So you know, as, as usual. But you know, uh, this is came out as a, as a truth from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, also there are other miracles <coughs> that you know, he can cure the blind and uh, you know, he can give life to the dead with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also he can know whatever you have eaten or whatever you have stored in your house. So he has given all this miracle from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And here Allah is saying that you know, how he uh, is teaching the Torah and, you know, and Injil. So there are a lot of things that has been uh, forbidden for the Bani Israel, but you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Isa alayhi salam so that he can make some things halal for them or make some haram things, you know, halal for them or some halal to haram because he comes with the Injil, the Sunnah, the how to follow the Torah basically. So he is the fulfillment of Torah. So uh, that's why Isa alayhi salam came here and when Jesus said that, you know, he, so this is most, it's most, uh, a very summary of the, of the life story of Isa alayhi salam, that he gave the message, some of them obviously disbeliever, so they're trying to plant and everything, but then, you know, uh, he, and when he understands the people are against him, he asks some people, you know, uh, you know, that I am from, uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so, you know, uh, and he, here he says here that, you know, you follow us, he says here, follow me, you know, uh, follow me, and, you know, Atiullah and Atiul Rasul, something like this. And also, he said that, you know, he asked few people that you, who will be my helper. And those are the disciples of <coughs> Isa alayhi salam. As you know, there are 11 or 12 disciples, you know, as mentioned in the Bible. But we don't know the number because our Sunnah doesn't mention the number. They are called Hawariyun. And Allah mentioned the Hawariyun a few times. And you know how Hawariyun, they say, yes, we believe that you are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we believe the book that you have, the Injil and the Torah and we will follow this and we will help you in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, Allah is saying here, you know, and when Allah mentioned, oh Jesus, indeed I will take you and raise you. So when he was in the problem and people are trying to kill him and everything because he is having a lot of obstacles, Allah gave him assurance, don't worry, I will take you to myself and I will clear everything that they are talking about you. Because you know they talk a lot of bad things about, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this more when you go to Surah Al Maryam, and uh, you know the, how how the, the people of that time, the Jewish, they rejected him, and they say bad things about Isa and you know they try to stone him and try to do all these things. Allah is giving him, you know, actually, don't worry, I will take close to me, and uh, Allah is saying the people who disbelieve, I will punish them and severe punishment, and also as for those who believe and do righteous deeds, the same thing, He will give them in their full rewards, and Allah does not like the wrongdoers. Now here, these are the concluding comments for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah is saying, you know, Zalika, you know, this is what we decided to you, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our verse, our ayah, and praise this message. So Allah is saying, this is from us, so this is the ending comment. And then indeed, the example of Jesus to, Jesus to Allah is like Adam. So, and, and we mentioned this in the last week in our Sira class, this, because after listening all this story, the Christians say, okay, if you believe everything about Jesus, if you believe everything about Zachariah, Yahya, and everything, that's fine. So who is the father of Jesus? After listening all this thing, they ask, who is the father of Jesus? Then Allah said, indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is just like the Adam. You know, I made Adam from the, 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 the Turab and I said, Fayakun. And same thing with Jesus. Adam was created without a father and without a mother. Adam didn't have a father and mother. And Jesus, at least he, he had a mother. So for Allah, it's nothing. Allah can do anything Allah wish. And then Allah said, the truth is from your Lord. So do not be among the doubters. And then said, then whoever argues with you. So Allah said, even after this, whoever argues with you, then call them and tell them, bring your son Bring your wives, and this is we mentioned last week, Sira class, this is called Mubahala, because when a debate is finished, so Rasulam called those Christian people, okay, if, we, if still you don't believe, come out tomorrow morning, out of the masjid, we call our son, our daughters and everything, and you call everybody that you have, and we'll ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to place Allah's cars on whoever group is lying. And this is called Mubahala in, 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 in Sharia. You can do that in the, at the end of the time. And uh, as we mentioned last week, Rasulullah called Ali, Fatima, all his wife, all his uh, you know, the daughters and everything. And they, they, they come out, but the Christian people, they didn't accept it. They said, no, we don't want to do the Mubahala because they know that he is the truth. 
they said, you know, we'll accept the jizya, so, and they left Owen, so they accepted the Islamic the tax and everything, but they didn't accept this challenge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah said, but if they turn away, so, so Allah knows that they will turn away, then indeed Allah knows the, who are the corruptors, so basically. So inshallah ta'ala, we'll finish it here. Jazakallah mu khair. Next week, we won't have any class, we'll have the quiz inshallah ta'ala. Uh, Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, ashadu Allah